389, um, and having read so much about it, I, I guess I come into it with some reasonably high expectations. It, it, it's clearly quite porty, it's quite um, quite sweet. Um, it seems to me that they've taken in some very ripe fruit and they've thrown all the winemakers' bells and whistles at it to try and scrub it up into something, you know, interesting. To me, it's it's porty, it's grapey. There's there's lots of cloves on the nose, um, but it's thin and it lacks fruit and it's just odd and all over the place. And and for a three eight nine, this just is not a good bin three eight nine. I'd like to try it again in five and eight years time just to see what actually happens. I don't think it'll live much past ten years. And I've tried not a huge in the number, but quite a few three eight nines, and I would rate it as one of the lesser ones. Um, and had generosity of fruit, had the sort of, to me, the characteristic penfolds lift, but just verbatim, with this, uh, looks confected, concocted. Um, it, to me, just doesn't seem to be hanging all together there at the moment. It just looks a bit disjointed. Well, the lack of oak, which you expect from penfolds, so I don't... I don't actually say it's a, neg it's a negative, because that was the penfolds characteristic, and the ear is really quite porty, without having the body to back up. The um, you know, the kind of alcohol sweetness. So, so yeah, not a, not a winner for me. I must admit.